came here when I was 10 uh, with my mom and grandma on a two-month vacation, uh, is what they said. Two-month vacation. Yeah. So I packed lightly, uh, and then we overstayed our visa by seven years. Yeah. And that is how you become illegal immigrants, right? So we were illegally here for seven years. But boy, like, my grandma tried her hardest to make life as normal as she could for me. You know, she wanted me to have a normal childhood. Um, so, you know, I mean, as normal as you could make living in a garage, you know, because uh, we lived in my uncle's garage to keep a low profile, you know. Um, <laughs> She would throw birthday parties for me, you know, because she loved me. You know, she would invite all my friends from school because she knew that's what all the kids were doing. You know, she would throw birthday parties for me. And I was always weary about that. I was always like, ah, don't invite anyone over, you know. I don't need a party, you know. Like, we probably, you know, probably shouldn't be making too much noise, you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> And if we did, if we ever did make too much noise, my uncle from the front house would signal to us in the back and we would turn the lights off. Yeah. And so during birthday parties, right, with the candles lit around the cake and everyone whispering the birthday song in the dark, <laughs> it looked like we were having a seance. <laughs> like a fifth grade witchcraft session, you know? 